Hello there. Our top story on Indian Express Opinion videos is the ban on cattle trade for slaughter purposes imposed by the central government last week, which has created a brouhaha in parts of the country. The chief ministers of West Bengal and Kerala are up in arms, calling it anti-constitutional, anti-democratic and anti-secular. But to break this, this whole issue down, I have with me Harish Damodaran, senior editor in the Indian Express. Harish, what is the significance of this uh, so-called cattle ban for slaughter purposes? Uh, legally, it's probably on. It rests on very thin ground because because uh, uh, under the constitution, uh, markets and fairs mm -hmm. uh, that is that is animal markets or, uh, or or agricultural markets are a state subject. They have uh, they have issued rules mm -hmm. uh, uh, ru rules governing uh, uh, regulation of livestock markets under the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act. Okay. And and that is a con in the concurrent list. Mm -hmm. So they have come out with with, with these rules. Uh, under this particular act. Now there is a problem there because uh, the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Act never says that uh, you should ban slaughter. Okay. It only talks about you know reducing the, the pain and suffering of animals you know and, and to the extent possible uh, you, you should you should have. So does this does this new rule does it mean that you cannot slaughter animals that you are going to sell in a in a cattle market for example? Yeah, yeah. see what the center is trying to say is that no no, there is no ban on uh, on on cattle slaughter. We have not imposed any ban on cattle slaughter. Mm -hmm. We have just uh, uh, said that uh, you cannot uh, bring animals for sale for slaughter purposes. Okay. Yeah. But how is how is one to prove that? Yeah. That is precisely the point. See, see, in the West, mm -hmm. in the West, uh, uh, you you have uh, you, you have a distinct uh, d uh, dairy uh, cattle farmer. You have a beef cattle farmer. Okay, but you don't have that in India. You, you, yeah, and, and 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 there you have different breeds. Mm -hmm. Like you have the Angus breed, which is which is for beef. Okay. Whereas you have uh, you have Holstein, Frisian, you have Brown Swiss, you have uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 you have Jersey, mm -hmm. which is for dairy. Whereas in India there is no there is nothing called a beef cattle farmer and uh, and, uh, and 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 a dairy cattle farmer. Mm -hmm. The the farmer who is eating a buffalo, you know, he may he may milk it for a few years. After nine years, after about eight years or something, then then he sells it for uh, the thing. So, but so but explain to me, explain to me, Harish. So if I have a cow and I bring it to the uh, to the animal market and I want to sell the cow or the bullock or the bull. Now, how are you going to tell me? How is the government going to find out whether this is for whether whether I'm selling my animal for agricultural purposes or to or for slaughter? So you will have to give an undertaking hmm. that I am not selling for slaughter purposes. Okay, you will have to give to whom? A, uh, to some officer or whatever. You know, the the, the, the person who is in the in the, who will be in charge of the animal uh, okay. uh, market committee or whatever. Okay, you know, and the purchaser has to be a farmer. He has to give proof that you know he is a farmer. So, so suppose I am a landless laborer. Mm -hmm. I want to buy uh, 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 cattle. You know, I, I want to buy young cattle for rearing. I cannot buy. Okay. So, so basically, uh, 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 what you're going to do is there's going to be a lot of rent seeking. You know. So, what does this do to the cattle business? This this whole thing will be completely thrown out of uh, gear. So, mm -hmm. See, because uh, uh, see, see, a state like Tamil Nadu, for example, I think has some 210 cattle markets. Okay. Rajasthan, I think, has some again 250 odd. What about so, Gujarat? Gujarat, everywhere there is there is there is a cattle market. So 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 if you go to a cattle market, farmers bring in all kinds of cattle. Mm -hmm. It could be it could be uh, it, it could be young calves. It could be it could be heifers. The chief ministers of uh, Bengal and Kerala are up in arms. The West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has called it anti-democratic, anti-secular. And the Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has says it's anti-constitutional. Now, the fact that the BJP President Mr. Amit Shah is going to Kerala in a, in a, in a couple of days, why is it that this has created this such a big noise? Look, see, uh, the, the immediate thing is obviously the see, because right now it's, it, it is Ramzan. Right. Yeah, and this is the time. So, so, so the, the 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 backlash is first from the consumer kind of a thing. But the back, the real backlash will come when the farmer will be in the street. See, right now he doesn't know. He probably doesn't know that there is such a rule. So, so maybe when he goes next time to to sell his animal, and then he suddenly finds that there are no takers. So, what are the what are the political implications of this rule? 
definitely there will be a lot of political implications uh, of uh, in this thing. I think it will be far more than jelly cutter and uh, all these. Okay. Jelly cutter had more symbolic value. Yeah. This is not symbol. This, this, this is economics. I mean, this is uh, this is to do with livelihoods because what does the farmer do? How yeah. does he purchase his uh, his next uh, cattle? Okay. So he can do it, and buying and selling is part of uh, right. his business. Yeah. yeah. I'm afraid we'll have to leave it there. Thanks, Harish. Um, as Harish has just said, there's this, the last word on this entire issue hasn't been said. That's all for now.